Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reina. If you're new here, then welcome. Today I've got a full month testing out one Australian skincare brand review. So in the past month, I've chosen one particular Australian skincare brand and I've used it on my face for the entire month. I've got eight products here and this is the time I give my final thoughts. Some of them are really, really good products. I wish I knew them early. Others are alright, you don't have to purchase. So you can just, you know, keep searching a better version of it. Now I know we have some good brands at the chemist, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus some of Australian drugstore brands and just to let everyone in Australia to explore a little bit more. So if you have any particular ones that you really want me to review, products, brands, whatever, anything to do about the content, leave your comments down below and I want to know. So the brand that I chose over the last month is Sweet Skincare brand or skincare line. So Swiss is a carbon neutral company and they're well known by their supplements. If you watch my empties, you know in my family we use that their calcium and vitamin D and my mom also finished use their menopause belt supplements as well. All of their skincare products claiming to leave out harmful chemicals and preservatives, um, sulfate free, patrolatum free, paraben free and they're all made in Australia and they're also having a really high percentage of naturally derived ingredients. So if you want to know what I've used over the last months and how I feel about them, which one are in my recommendation list, let's just keep on watching. I'll start with cleansers. I've got two here. One of it's their Sweet Almond Gentle Cream Cleanser. The other one is Olive Leaf Deep Cleansing Gel. So I've used one in the morning and one during the evening. Both of these retail for $11.99 for 125 ml. That's the other thing good about Sweet Skin Care. They're very, very affordable. And this is their new look as well. Although I think they've increased the price just a hinge, but still very affordable in Australia. So the Sweet Almond one is the one that I use during the morning. This is a cream cleanser, really nice creamy texture and makes my face feel so moisturized and yet not overly greasy. I've tried some of the others cream cleanser. It can be a bit of too moisturized afterwards. I feel like I couldn't wash off the cleanser completely. This is one having a great balance of hydration as well as cleansing ability. And it's also suitable for normal to dry skin. So if you someone don't wash your face during the morning and you're having quite dry skin type, you can use it during the evening time and I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect for those really dry skin types. And when I look at ingredient lists, what I love the most is they use the rice brine water as their first ingredient. If you're interested in Asian skincare, you probably heard this rice or rice brine water is very popular. It is well known for hydration and brightening for the skin. I don't think you receive much of brightening from a wash off form, but hydration, absolutely yes. And it also contains sweet almond oil, which having vitamin A and E, omega-3 fatty acid and zinc to provide this nourishment and to help healing some of the pimples if you have. It also contains nourishing glycerin, coca seed butter, pomegranate fruit extract, which is also a natural antioxidant, and heaps of oil. So when I look at ingredient list, I know it's going to be a very nourishment cleanser. And once I used it, I know I don't feel overly oily or greasy on my face. So that is one main reason why I really like this. I know the benefits from their ingredient list. I'm very reassuring, and I like my experience when I use it during the morning time. Um, one thing I need to mention is this one also contains witch hazel flower water which has helped to purify and refine the skin. It is more suitable for a combination to an oily skin type. I don't think it will matter much in a washout form, but if you are super, super sensitive skin, I just want to let you know. So you might want to just try it and see. In the evening, the one I've used is the Olive Leaf Deep Cleansing Gel. This is suitable for oily and combination skin. So if you're having a dry skin or a sensitive skin, I can still recommend you use this, but not every day. This one is a forming cleanser. I use it as a second step just to remove the residuals. It does absolutely such a great job. And I don't feel my skin is either very dry or very silky. And looking at ingredients, it's having uh, glycolic acid and salicylic acid, so it's AHA and BHA combined. Although the salicylic acid is very, very low in their ingredient list, so I think it's minimal to nothing, but it's an AHA cleanser, which you find a lot of the products having AHA, having a really high price point, and this is only for $12 on um, for a retail price. 
Apart from that, it also contains olive vera leaf and glycerin to provide this hydration. And the olive leaf extract in here is supposed to help repair skin damage. And it cleanses the pores, absorbs the oils, and it also having a um, anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. And it can help to clear up of all the pimples and the breakouts. So it's perfectly for your oily skin. I can see this one's going to be really good for like teenage sort of age group where I had a lot of problems with pimples like literally just my forehead was full of pimple like a puzzle so <laughs> I wish they had this back that time they probably did and I just need to pick it up and I feel like it will be such such a great one and affordable one um, it also contains lots of oils to provide that hydration so overall I think it's a really really good product like both of these two they're having different claims and they are really targeting different skin types and I think for each target audience they put special um, ingredients in to make them different you know not just for marketing reasons I really like both of these and yeah this these two are my favorite findings literally so the serum I use in the evening is the black orange brightening facial serum this one having niacinamide and I use vitamin C in the morning so I decide to have my niacinamide for my evening skincare routine I explain why I put this in my evening skincare routine in my like a routine video explained, so I'll leave that up above and down below. The main brightening ingredient, it is the niacinamide. And niacinamide is a great ingredient. I'm so happy seeing this in a serum form. It is helping to minimize the pores, uh, balance your oil control and having anti-inflammatory ingredient and also to evening your skin tones, like just brightening overall, brighten up your skin tone and skin color as well. And in terms of the texture, it is a quite uh, liquid sort of formula it's not the most brand uh, new formula that I see in a serum but it's definitely not thick I found some of the drugstore serum can be a little bit too thick it's almost like a lotion I don't like that when I'm deciding to use a serum on my face I want to penetrate deeper into my skin because this is one of the most important steps in all of your skincare routine serum is the time you're having this active ingredients in so I do like the texture It's not overly thick and it still feel very moisturized to apply and quickly absorb into your skin so other ingredient it contains in this serum is jojoba seed oil sweet almond oil glycerin orange fruit extract rice extract olive leaf extract orange peel oil, soybean oil, and liquorice root extract, I believe that's how you say your name. It is a brightener and antioxidant to help balance the hyperpigmentation. So I feel like this serum is good to use if you're just newly starting for a niacinamide ingredient serum for brightening your skin. I personally don't think I will repurchase, but I can see myself finish this one and I really like when I apply it, it's very moisturized and it comes within a very sweet citrusy like orange-ish smell. It's not artificial scented but if you someone just know my fragrance in general then you might notice this quite outstanding. I personally really like it. That's something I'm looking forward every time when I apply this and I've also got their same line but a moisturizer. I love the smell. It doesn't last very long but it lasts a good 10 minutes I'll say. And they're also claiming like blood orange can be used as a natural source of vitamin C. I really don't think you can use this as an alternative of vitamin C or vitamin C derivatives. It's really having a very minimal effect and it's not very high up in your ingredient list, which means you're only receiving a little bit of orange extract. And from that, you have to convert it into a vitamin C from a natural source, which you don't even know how much percentage you actually receive. But if you're looking for a niacinamide serum that you don't want to spend a lot of money and you still want to have a really moisturizing, hydrating serum all in one, this is actually a good one to choose. And the other serum that I use in the morning is their Hyalur Natural Hydration Boost Serum. This one is having natural botanic alternative to hyaluronic acid and is aiming to giving your skin this nice and glow. This one has a quite similar consistency to the other one but definitely a little bit thicker. As you can see this is a blood orange serum is actually running and this one is more like lotion it's not moving anywhere so at the start off I don't like the texture I think 
is too thick for a serum, which I can understand why I say more for a normal or I can say even for a dry skin type because they really need layers of hydrations. The first few ingredients in both of these serums are exactly the same. They're having the jojoba seed oil, they're having sweet almond oil and niacinamide for brightening effect. So in this case, this is glowing, this is brightening, so the first three are exactly the same. I mean, yeah, isn't that a little bit of marketing here? And the natural hyaluronic acid is derived from flowering plants of cassia species and this is a natural botanic source of hyaluronic acid. It sounds really good but again I just don't know if it is as effective as a hyaluronic acid. Like I don't know the conversion of these two. Some people might like this even better. I think it's really really highly nourishing serum so if you're looking for a natural moisturizing hydrating serum this is a good one to go but it won't provide you any other effect. In my serum step, I want to have some anti-aging effects, reduce my wrinkles, minimize my pores, you know, evening out my skin tones like vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C. This one only having hyaluronic acid, which I can get from my moisturizers as well. I don't have to get a separate serum. So I will be giving this to my mom since she's having a drier skin. She can definitely use this. All right, before I dive into all my creams, I want to quickly mention this eye cream here. This is their Argan Revitalizing Eye Cream. I still have one before they change all their new look. You can see that from my video clips. I absolutely love the ingredients, the price point, the hydration level it provides. I can see this is why a very famous iconic product from the line and I definitely will repurchase. It's always in the back of my mind if I ever wanted to have a really hydrating moisturizing eye cream, I go for this one and it's very affordable. Retails for $16.99 for 15 ml. So in terms of the ingredients, it having grape seed oil as a natural antioxidant also provides hydration and then having glycerin and argan oil further increase boosting this hydration level, nourishing and replenishing the skin. It also contains squalene which is a natural component of the skin sebum to help form a skin barrier under the eye where it's very fragile, easy to have wrinkles etc. This one also contains caffeine and guarana seed extract which is also a great antioxidant, natural source of antioxidant to provide skin from free radical damage. Um, I know they're all saying caffeine is great for dark circles. I don't notice that very much, but I've noticed caffeine is really good for puffiness. For my face, for my eyes, every time I use it, I definitely notice I don't have much of puffy eye or puffy face, particularly during the time when I'm having a bit of up and downs or going out late nights, you know, the nights in the morning, you wake up, your face is like twice as big as it used to be. Definitely go for a caffeine product. I think it does make a huge difference. And on top of that, it has lots of plant oils to give that nourishing hydration to your under eye areas. And it also contains Q10, which is another great great ingredient I like to have in my skincare routine not just around my eyes. I do found it can be a little bit thick in its consistency. You do want to take your time to let it absorb under your eye. One tip that you can use is you can use a slightly lighter serum under your eye and every now and then when you feel like you need a bit of more extra moisturization underneath you can apply a cream like this this is what I do so I almost use this as a under eye sleeping mask underneath and just boost out this hydration and provide like extra extra moisturization overnight to sort of repair the under eye area because I do use a lot of concealers anyway and a bit of fine lines as well since I'm aging but that's Okay, it's a natural process. This is something I will definitely repurchase and will probably constant repurchase. It takes me a long time to finish one squeeze bottle, but I've used this ever since I know this skincare line from Sweet, so yeah, don't need to say more. All right, let's come to the last category, which is facial moisturizers. I've got three here. I'll come with the jar one first. This is the Blood Orange Brightening Daily Moisturizer. It retails for $20.95 for 50 ml. So this is in the same line as their Blood Orange Serum, and this is their old package. This is their new packaging, you know, a bit more fancier. This one comes with a very strong sweet orange scent, which is the same as the serum. I really enjoyed it, but once again, fragrance scent is very personal. So you might not like it if you don't like the sweet scent to it. 
It is a really, really creamy texture, and I feel like it is a bit thicker than a lotion-y texture, but not too thick, if you know what I'm saying, sort of in between, like moder moderate. It is super easy to blend on your face. I won't say it melts directly into your face but it blends very well I do like to warm it up in my hands my fingertips and just sort of blends and pat it in I like that warmth from my fingertips mixed with the lotion cream the first of three key ingredients are grapeseed oil glycerin and squalene which all provides nourishment to the skin and then we have niacinamide follows to act as the main brightening ingredients and once again I don't think this blood orange will act as much of a natural source of vitamin C if you're looking for like using a vitamin C your skincare routine I feel like it's very similar to its serum in terms of the ingredient list, like terribly similar. But this one is more on the moisturizing side and having a bit more a hydrating ingredient such as squalene, which I don't see in the serum. I don't think I will use two of these together if I ever want to include these in my skincare routine. If I have this, I don't need a cream and vice versa. Um, but yeah, I actually like both of these products, particularly because of the scent. I think the scent makes a great factor when I use these, how I feel in my personal experience, which can be a big no-no for someone. Lastly but not least is your new packaged moisturizer. One is the Manuka Honey, the other one is Vitamin B3. They're coming within a 120ml bottle, which is a huge bottle for a cream moisturizer. And they also have a lock over here, which is brilliant design. I personally love the vitamin B3 a lot, which I'll talk about it later. <laughs> I'll go through the Manuka Honey one because I know how I feel about it straight away. This is their Glow Boosting Moisturizer. This is a cream moisturizer, contains a natural fragrance. It, it feels like a mixture of Manuka Honey and Sweet Candy scent. I asked my mom because I couldn't pinpoint the scent and she says it's like a candy, so that's what I right over here. I bought this one because it says in having vitamin C and when I look at it, it has a derivative of vitamin C, sodium ascorbate phosphate. You can use this as an actual supplement of vitamin C if you like to, but don't rely just on this bottle because it's not having a lot and it's a derivative as well. The key claim for this is for skin hydration and it has glycerin, grapeseed oil, shea butter, manuka honey, sodium hyaluronate, and then having the vitamin C derivative. So you can tell by listing all these ingredients, vitamin C coming at the last of their key ingredients. These all giving this intensive replenishing abilities to the skin and Manuka Honey also known to draw moisturizer to the skin and promote a natural radiance look and that's where you're having this glow skin claim. I think it's nothing wowed me, it's like a good moisturizer, normal moisturizer, average moisturizer. So I will pass this on to my mom as well since she has a drier skin but I will not repurchase this one for sure. And let's go to my favorite. This is the Vitamin B3 Blemish Controlling Moisturizer. This one retails for 49 i for 120 mils. This is a much, much liquidy form comparing to all the other moisturizers that I just mentioned. And when I look at the ingredient list, it contains glycerin to provide this nourishing hydration to the skin. And then it having vitamin B3, aka that's niacinamide. I said it's great for like, you know, pores, minimizing oils as well, reduce dark spots, protect skin barriers. And it also having BHA quite high up in their ingredient list. And that's from the bark of willow tree and it works along with niacinamide to help prevent skin blemishes and I also like having green tea like oh my gosh green tea ingredient I haven't seen this in skincare for drugstore for a long long time so green tea is a natural antioxidant it's also really good to give a hydration and it's really really hard to find in drugstore particularly in Australia so I'm really surprised this one I am absolutely impressed by this moisturizer based by the ingredients as well as the texture it's a quite lotiony. It's not heavy. It's almost like a bit of water gel feel. It melts into the skin immediately. I can definitely see myself repurchase this one, and I'd be really, really loving it ever since I receive it. I think this is a great, great product from Swiss Line, and it's so affordable. All right, so that's everything in this skincare review. My camera is running out. Of All right, I'm using my phone to record this last bit because my camera's ugh didn't make it and I just want to quickly show you the weather outside 
it's beautiful today but anyway for sweet skincare i really do think it's a great line for starters for teenage group and for someone just trying some new natural um moisturizing skincare products nothing too fancy it's very affordable and i feel like they keep up their claims like whatever they're saying at the front you can find some ingredients at the back to back up not just for marketing reasons i do think their um, vitamin b3 moisturizer there are two cream and gel cleansers and their eye creams are the best and then followed by their brightening serums and everything else seems to be in the same category to me like it's just purely moisturizing i feel like if you're having a dry skin you might feel a lot more enjoying those products than me personally but none of them is bad product like i wouldn't say i recommend you to walk away from this product don't purchase i think they're all doing great jobs so yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give me a thumbs up consider subscribe my channel and what else is there turn on notification bell yeah not necessarily tell me in the comment down below what sort of other videos like this you would like to see if this is something you would like to see in the future what other australian brand that you want me to review i am currently reviewing suking brand it's another iconic um, australian brand which you can also purchase them from uk i think it's a great to include on the youtube platform for everyone to have a look even if you're not in australia um if you know some of the products from that brand you really want me to review definitely leave the comment down below because it's still early early in november i still have time to test them out but anyway i hope you enjoyed today's ones and i'll see you guys in my next video please stay safe and stay positive and thank you for your watching bye